Hey guys, Ola Anderson here from the Berkshire, Massachusetts Treasure Hunter. So, where we left off the other day, we got sand and live rock in it. The rocks has now cured with the bonding agent with the fastener. Uh, we got a little bit of fingerprints and stuff, but that's fine. Uh, as you can see, I chose to put the filter back here. Um, I'm gonna have the light over here point, pointing this way. It shouldn't matter, so, and then there'll be a heater on either side, so, or on one of the sides. So, yeah, I'm getting ready to put some water in, and I'm doing it not so appropriate. I put, I'm using tap water. Uh, everybody will be like, no, don't do that, use RODI. No, well, I don't have my RODI water hooked up yet, or the purifier, so this is what I'm going to do. Use tap water with Prime. That's going to have to do for now. This is going to cure for, or cycle. It's going to do its cycle that we're going to show later, how to cycle. And... And it's just going to cure, mature for quite a while. So whatever there's in the tap water will be gone. So, but let's put some water in. Since I don't have a tripod, I can't show you how I put water in. So I'll get back to you. So this is the first three and a half gallon or so. So now is probably the time to look for, for some leaks. Just to make sure. Um, it's one thing I don't want the tank to burst when um, I'm living on second floor, so that wouldn't be good. So yeah, the bucket is filling up and we're going to put some more water in. I'll be back. So we're almost there. Uh, I was going to put a little wave maker in it, but uh, a little... Uh, circulation pump but it doesn't seem to work that's what you get when you leave stuff out on the porch in the winter time i guess um i'll see if i can get it working like i said we're almost there i could start the filter right now but i'm just going to pour a little bit more water in it so yeah we're pretty much there we'll start to fill up when it's where the water level is supposed to be and pour some salt in i'll get back to you so the tank is filled up, the filter is running with no uh, filter floss or anything in it for right now. I will put some in a bit later, I got that circulation pump to run, so everything is running. Uh, now I add some salt, I'll get back to you. And yeah, this is the ugly stage. Got bubbles and all kind of stuff on the glass, but it would disappear. Right now it's just fresh water, so. But I gotta add some salt because um, there's beneficial bacteria in that uh, rock, so I gotta make sure they stay alive. I don't know how they like fresh water, so I'll get back to you. I think there's about 12 gallon of uh, water volume. Uh, rocks and sand take up some space, so the salt will take up some space too. Uh, so I probably got to take a bit of water out. Um, so I'll add about 10 scoops and we'll let it dissolve and see what happens. I'm going to use instant ocean that I'm using in the other tank. I always, well, I was using the crystals and they fried all my calls that batch, so I'll get back to you when I have put some salt in later. So I did 11 scoops and I'll get it a couple hours to solve with the salt maybe to tomorrow and see what salinity we have. It should be under, so I hope. Um, so yeah, I'll put the light on, cut the lid and we should be ready to rock and roll. Um, we gotta wait for the salt to dissolve Gotta put the light on and all that good stuff, but after that, yeah, then it just needs to 
stop the cycle and I'll show you that so uh, I might not come back to this before tomorrow maybe later tonight um, we shall see so I will talk to you later so I put the light on the filter is running everything is running uh, as you can see we still got a lot of bubbles but they'll go away after a day or so uh, I'll let the tank run like I said for a couple of hours see what the salinity is maybe even to tomorrow and then adjust for the salt accordingly uh, that pump or CCAM title is creating a lot of current so that's good I got that little power head but can't see it right now uh, and temperature is already stable so uh, I think I have it at 76 right now which is fine so yeah pretty good um, so that's probably it for today. If I get to measure salinity later tonight, I'll include it in this video. Uh, until then, uh, I'll get back to you. If you like this kind of content, press subscribe or like, and there'll definitely be more. So you all have a nice evening. Bye. Before we leave totally for today, we're gonna put some Fill the material in, nothing that can take the good bacteria out or nothing. When, whoops, I weren't too smart. Hold on, <laughs> I gotta take the lid off. Let's try that again. So, we gotta put the filter pad in all the way down the bottom so it uh, takes out some of the dust almost set this floating around and then a purigan um, she came purigan that's my go to filter material so just gonna put that in there I should probably have rinsed it but I didn't but that's okay see if we can get it to watch in here there we go so that's gonna stay in there and take care of the pollutants it won't take any bacteria out or nothing even while it's cycling as you can see that's the puregan dust that's in there now I had a back rip once and I had small pearl floating around the tank forever so yeah so I'll get back a bit later I guess to see what the salinity is and then that'll be it for today but uh i'll be back in a little while later i use a uh, hannah salinity checker uh, i trust them so but there you go 1.025 perfect so i'll let it run for at least to tomorrow probably tomorrow after work or maybe a couple of days more Make sure all the salt is dissolved, I think it is though. Um, and then we will uh, put some ammonia and some live bacteria in. So yeah, it's all ready to go. Salinity is good. Um, everything is good. Temperature is 78, so we're all good to go. Uh, still got some bubbles on the side glass, but that's okay. They'll be gone in a couple days. And the tank can go through its cycle and um, mature for a while before we even put anything in. I don't think I'm going to go with fish in this one. I think I'm going to put some hermit crabs and uh, blue-legged hermit crabs and snails and some other stuff. Maybe a clownfish, I don't know, but I don't think so. So yeah, you all have a nice weekend, and I'll get back to you when we get ready to um, do the cycle. I'll show you how I do that. Until then, if you like this kind of content, press subscribe and like, and I'll definitely bring out some more. 
Uh, river hunting season is coming closer and closer. Tomorrow is going to be 65. I might go to the river. I don't know yet. So this is my first day back to work in a week after my flu and pneumonia. So I might be tired tomorrow. Tired right now. Uh, so yeah. So yeah. You all have a nice Sunday evening. Bye.